Hey guys and girls, my name is Snowy and welcome to part 44 of Valdez, the Ring Road City here in City Skylines. And uh, yeah, in the previous episode we have built up this uh, lovely scam <laughs> to get a lot of people and uh, it's working and um, I want to show you also something else because off screen, well, you know, this was just running. I built something else. Let's go here. We go there. We should slide over there. Now what is that there over there? Ah, what is this? What is this? What am you what are you looking at? What is this? What is this? You don't know. No, no. Show me, show me. I want to see it. What would see it? What is this? You know, what is this? What is this? A tunnel? No. <laughs> yeah, well no, yeah, it's no, technically it's not a tunnel. It's not a tunnel. It's a lot of trees. Ooh, interesting. What is this? Look at this. Ooh, water? There? What is that? Highway? Okay, I will stop messing around. This is what I made. I thought, like, I want to do some inspirational stuff. And uh, normal-wise, I put always the um, highway underground, you know, or above ground and let the uh, on and off ramps join it normally. And I thought this time, like, you know what? I'm going to do it the other way around. I thought like, you know what, why not, you know, and put all these key walls around it, and I'll tell you guys, it is, and still, look at this, it is a lot of finagling to get the water mod, you know, the water source in here, and put all the plants and stuff in there, and try not to get any <laughs> leakage here on the on and off ramps, but this thing actually works like a charm. You know, you have a dedicated off-ramp here, so the lane mathematics is perfectly sound. And you have a lovely view from, uh, from the city, you know, from here, from this distance. Look, look, it's all, it's all city. It's like nearly, yeah, it's a nice skyline, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I thought, like, why not? Now, you must be thinking, like, oh, Snowy, so you have spent a lot of time on that. You have must have collected, like, a gazillion amount of money. And, uh... <laughs> Right. <laughs> okay, that is always also always what happens when you load up the game. Then you have trees on the road. So get out of here. Get out of here. And let's see more of those darn carbon things blocking the road. <laughs> so what was I saying? Okay, yeah. I must have like made like tons of money, you know, while uh, you know while building this. Well, look at my money. So what was it last time? Mm, I don't know. Also around this figure. Now, here comes the catch. While I was building this, it took, it took some time. Um, eventually, I looked at my traffic situation and my traffic was like suddenly at 61%. And I was like, what? You know, and then this signal over here um, showed me like suddenly like around, I don't know, what was it? Uh, over a thousand uh, dead people and there's still a few dead people around. Uh, I was like, oh my gosh, you know. and. The funny thing is, after some looking around uh, the whole city, the problem was just here. Now you might think like, huh? Here? Yeah, here. There was... Now, let's see. I will show you if I click this button here. Okay, I have lane connectors. Now I have lane connectors. You know, yeah, I had them before, uh, but not here. But what happened was, is that first of all, I did not have them here. These tries to. Um, there was a car here that was trying to merge to the right lane, so he was blocking up um, all the cars behind him and other cars. And here, roughly on this spot, there was just a car standing here still. That was it, and I did not notice it because I was building with that junction over there, and all the traffic that came from here started to accumulate it up all the way to here, 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 and because this is a very busy area. This completely started to gridlock together and I was like, oh my god, what is happening? So my first reaction was like, okay, let me build in this overpass as well. You know, the, this, these extra passages were already there and I built this extra overpass, you know, for future residential areas over here uh, to get to uh, the, the scam area. I, call, <laughs> I can call this the scam area, you know, walk through the park and uh, do your thing. And also, I, I forgot to do that in the last episode, place some services in this area, because 
also we have dead people over here you need policing over here garbaging facilities over there helicopter helicopters uh, fire helicopters yeah put there and crematorium and fire station what is this building a medical clinic anyway uh, it's all good and well and even an extra big parking uh, lot because everything is filled up here and um, yeah okay so uh, enough blabbing because um, there is something on my mind this stadium I think it's not meant to be here on this spot I think um, you know this should be closer to the city you know more like somewhere on the central island maybe yeah the, we already have one here maybe it could be here i don't know but this must be like more like a vacation spot so we grab the bulldozer and we say like bye poof gone okay what are we going to put back in return well i've been thinking about that and i have been looking in the yeah this area and i want to place yeah the central park in here and of course it does not fit but that is normal in my situation because that, that always happens <laughs> so let me see can we you can okay it must be a roadside okay it can okay it, it can fit like this um can we make that nicer somehow yeah so no wait actually it's fine actually if i do it like this i think if I look at that road, uh, and then that road, it does not match up with the road above, but it's only slight. Uh, so I think, okay, let's put it down. What we can do, now let's grab the move it not, and we, uh, wait a sec, wait, 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 move it not, move it not, uh, deselect the trees, yeah. Um, we select all this stuff. That's including this thing. I think this is enough. Uh, no, then it will also move that note. So we can deselect that note. Can I deselect that note? Shift. No, that does not work. Control. No, that does not work either. I still have to figure that out. So, um, yeah, this should do. And I can add things, but I cannot remove things. That is something it's still eluding me you know with the moving lot now let's see if we can slide this over so that road will match that road from there so still it's not matching and i think i think it's now matching yeah i think so so let let us connect those roads um okay we just grab this road can i yeah put it to there and on the other side, you can go there. Nice. People love this item also, you know. Um, like, like I said, the sports park is not the thing yeah, that, 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 yeah, I like over here. What I want over here is actually hotels and also beach. You know, we have on the other side, also we have a beach, you know, or a lovely beach over here, you see. Yeah, and I want to repeat that thing also on there. Yeah. So let's go there. Yep. And we are going to terraform this a little bit. First of all, we are going, let's see, where's the sand option? We're going to remove that sand. And then here we are going to add a little bit of land. Yeah, just like that. So we make this a little bit bigger and this a little bit lesser. And we're going to add a little bit of land. So here we will create a lovely beach, but not too much I mean this is I think enough and let's slope now this area we make it very very slopey because only then that uh, beach asset will work properly nice sloped area sort of like this I suppose and here well that not everything will be like a uh, beach like we have seen now let's see how far is this the water it's going all the way to there okay now we grab the sand option and we put like sand there 
connect up to there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. As you can see, I also changed the sand texture a little bit. The last time it was kind of uh, white-ish. Now in this area, um, now I can do the following. I can place Rico buildings with hotels, but I can also use the uh, commercial zoned uh, area for um, vacation stuff. So let me try that out. First, uh, yeah, let me put some roads here. So you go from there to there. And can we make this as efficient as, how far is this apart? 24. 24. If it was a 30, it would be easier, but okay. We can also do it like this. We go up like that. And from here, we can also go up like that. And here, yeah, it would, will not be perfect, but you know what? I'm just going to do it like this. You know, if you make uh, the game too gritty, then it's not perfect at all. It's it's like, nah, that, that's simply not really likable, if you ask me, you know, if you ask my opinion about that. It would be nice to make just a road just around this park. Why not? Like that, like that, and like that. Yeah, you know, and then we can make a pathway there, and then voila. Great, so now what we need is um, a district, yes, snowy, not a zone, a district, and uh, let's district this area up, so we make this a district, like that, yeah, like that. And then we are going to the commercial area, and then we say like, uh, tourism. Uh, commercial zone to serve, commercial hotel accommodation, restaurants and other business. You also have leisure. Sometimes I think like, what actually is the difference between both of them? I, th I think personally that this is more meant for ins inside the city. You know, leisurey things like, uh, it says like nightlife and leisure activities. I mean, can be all kinds of things. And this is more like, you know, for camping out, uh, going to a hotel, restaurants, for outdoor, you know, at the beach. That's my thought. So we are going to use this. Uh, did I apply it? No, I did apply it now. And now we are going to zone it with high density commercial zone. So zoop, we're doing that like that. And here, and here. And also here, little gap there, but that's okay. Uh, leave that open. Yeah, uh, okay. Now, I wonder if I am going to place low density commercial zones on front here. Uh, yeah, and let's see, let's just see what happens, you know, let's see what the game makes of it. Now, let's also not forget to include some parking, very important. I mean, that is, those, those things are VIPs, very important parking, lots. <laughs> okay, now let's create also a few pathways from there to there, and from there to there. And it would help if you could cross the road, so we take the node controller and we say like, you can cross there, yeah, thank you. And also you can cross there and with this thing we say like to any car that is not driving around here you can go through this area let me also by the way ban cars because cars are not allowed in this region so no cars here because of that uh, space elevator and here are no cars okay that's already set i think here nope it's not there it is and in this little piece also no cars here <laughs> imagine you know just a city without cars I I think I played I think I tried to do that before uh, actually yeah it makes it very very quiet you know in your city uh, no cars there but still you can have traffic you know if you don't uh, manage your uh, your trucks and uh, stuff uh, well, you know, your industries, then still you can have like traffic uh, with trucks and other 
uh, service uh, vehicles. Zo, so, oké, okay, hier, hier, ja, en dan hier. There, no cars. I want to prevent people from spawning their pocket cars. You know, I just placed those, I'm just, I, ju I just crossed my mind, you know, I placed those parking lots there, here, but no cars are even allowed here, so I'm, I'm even like thinking like, that's stupid. I mean, okay, let me delete this and this. Leave that gap for something else, I don't know. How noisy, how noisy is this stuff anyway? Let me check that, let me check the noise level. Oh, it's a noisy place, so... It would be nice to have like some kind of living tower over here where people can go and also live. But yeah, then you require schools and, and, and all that stuff again. And by the way, we also require that anyway. So maybe it's a good idea to grab this road and bring that over to there. Like that. Yeah. Uh, Mm, put it like that and where is that thing the small recycling center I, ha I love this thing you know it's it's kind of cheap it's creating also raw materials for your industry area and you don't need any anything else actually I mean it suffices you know it really suffices so this way this thing we create up to there there and there so they can also move around and then from here we place something like a fire department, that's okay. Police department, uh, this little one or the somewhat bigger one. Mm, ah, well, the bigger one is fine. And let's create, uh, uh, let's also grab the moving mod and align all this stuff with there. Yeah. And then let's get an, another one of those. And how close is that there? Uh, that's fine. You can place it. We can place it over there. Yeah. And then in between here, we can add a few trees, you know, to, just for decoration purposes. So in the next episode, I can remove them again from the road. <laughs> so let me increase a little bit the brush strength and etc. So to cover that a little bit away. Nobody wants to see all the old dirty stuff thingy. And we don't place trees on top of sand. That is like, you know, blasphemy to put like trees on sand. And here, you know, a few trees there. And yeah. Now, let's see, how can we make that beach over here? Now, what I notice already is like that the beach is um, too far away from the area. So what can we do is like... Either we put the beach closer by, that's one thing, or we drag a road towards it. Well, I, I am more inclined to the first option, so we're going to do that. So we bring basically the beach closer to the shore. What am I telling? Be bringing the beach closer to the, to the road, actually. Making sure that the water is also going there. Let me see. So how high are those water levels? Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. I can barely see that water. Okay, let me make this. Uh, so how shallow should this be? Okay, let's make this a little bit like this. Yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We can always add, add some sand later. For the statics, well, not for the statics, for the for the for the use, and then we smoothen it out here. Now there was some guy on uh, the Facebook page of City Skylines who told me that the uh, uh, beach mod, you know, that uh, that thing for the beach, can be also placed pretty f far in the water, so you can actually really see people go in the water itself. I thought to myself, like, well, that's interesting. Um, let me check out. Did that asset need to be placed on a road? Yeah, I think so. It happened also here. So let me pick this asset, the joint, like that, and we're going to the other side. Uh, let's see, how much space does it take? Okay. 
So if I want it to be in the water like halfway, roughly there, yeah, we can make like a sort of walking path, road path here, yeah. And what kind of path should that be? Something rural, I guess? Maybe just a rural path. So, sorry about your hotel, it has to go. <laughs> sorry! <laughs> Yeah, and also, you, with the usage of anarchy, I can, in principle, also uh, bend those, um, uh, those that asset also to the, to my likings, because they will overlap. So I can just follow the contours of this shore, just like that, and then like that, and that. Let's see how far can we go. Well, we can go pretty far if we want to. That. I wonder if that is not too close to the waterline. I think so. So let me remove this again. And let me redo it. A little bit further away. I know, I like to be optimistic, but we have to also, we have to also stay realistic. Like that, okay. So this is far enough. Um, here on the end, I will say, like, okay, you can go there and go there. Maybe we can even put like a, li a little part or something in here as well. Oh yeah, that would be nice. Okay, yep, like that. Not touching there because otherwise they will just... Should we connect these two up? Yeah, why not? Why not? That's fine. Now let me have a look here. <coughs> we have some uh, botched zoning stuff. So you go away, you go away, you are fine. And um, yeah, here we need to plant that stuff uh, after I put some sand there, more sand. Oh, not so much sand. A little bit more sand there, sand, 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 sand. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, let me get that thing. Uh, I, I just pick it from here. I'm just stealing it. And I'm going to place it here, now on this lovely, yeah, lovely road. Okay, you go directly next to it. And then something like that, and then up to there. I think that that's fine. Now, as you can see, you cannot see anything of it. Anything. Now, the only thing that I noticed in uh, with this asset is like, you know, people come in and park their cars basically on the beach area. But cars are not allowed in this area, so <laughs> I even wonder how they would do it. Uh, let's make a path in between from there to there. Yeah, let's do that. So, we take this thing. Yeah, you go just from there to there. Yeah, make it more walkable. And also, if you come from the space elevator, you want to walk here. There's no crossing here, right? No, they cross there. Ah, I see. Uh, uh, okay, so we can go. Okay, I have an idea. So we are going in here, like that. And then, I can go around it, but you know, why would you go around it if you also can go underneath it? The 6 by minus 12 is uh, always working pretty well. I mean, it always did so far with me. Uh, and then from there, uh, let's see, we take this option. Where do I want to connect it up? Um, the first thing, oh. Achievement unlocked, playing with the boys. Yikes, sounds like gay. <laughs> It's not my favorite idea, but okay. <laughs> so we make a 3x3 three three and then we press home and then we can connect it up to the point. There, look at that, lovely. Now, here, you can see all these peeps over here. Uh, okay, this is like a mess. I don't like it. I want these guys off that uh, pedestrian crossing. So these guys are going to take a bridge. And I'm going to anarchy it over this parking lot. 
like that. And go to the other side like that. Then you can connect to there. That's fine. You can keep go. You can even go down there. Is fine. And you can go there, which is fine. Like that. You know what? Maybe even to the other side as well. It's a little bit tight, but nothing is impossible here. Especially with some anarchy involved. And if they want to go to the other side, they can use that that one over there. Nice. So, means that we can say, like, okay, remove all these crossings. And, I mean, yeah. What are these vehicles, anyway? Oh, no, those are the people there. Yeah. Okay, so these guys can continue. We don't want any traffic uh, jams over there. Now, the last thing, uh, well, last thing. The, what I'm going to do now is uh, make this a little bit more fas fashionable. Okay, let me have a look at this. So we select this note, this note, and that note, and that note, and we zoink it up one. That's f that's one, and then we are going to look at it. Okay, we do the same thing on this side. You, 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 and you. Take it down, so it's a little bit closer to the road. And here, let me have a look, we're going to select it manually and drag this. Yeah, just like that. So we get a little bit of a bending thingy over here, but it's like, nah, you can barely see it. Mm, also, we need to bring this a little bit in closer, like that. And we can bring this a little bit closer, like that as well. It seems really like it's touching the building. And this seems fine, this seems fine. And here, I don't I don't foresee any issues here, you know. Check out what happens to these people now. They will now run on this, on this thing. Here they go, because they cannot cross this anymore. Now these vehicles can continue. You know what I'm going to do here as well? Um, I say to these vehicles, no left turn. You can only go straight on or right. They can make a left turn here. That saves a lot of hassle. Now look at that, all that traffic that was here is now gone. Nice. They can now walk in all kinds of directions. They walk here, they walk... Where are these people going? They walk... Huh? <laughs> what is this? An exodus? What is this? This is like the F Friends Legion. Come on, come on guys, where are you going? This is not like going to, to some kind of working camp. Really? <laughs> I love it, I love it. Are they going to the beach? Ah, they go, really they go around? Oh my gosh. In that case, but uh, there's, a, there's a traffic, um, um, la, 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 pedestrian crossing there. Okay, we take the, um, the sandy road and we are going to make it a lot more easier for these lovely people just to go from there to there and i'm not sure but maybe uh, they cannot cross here because there is no cross crossing so let me see what happens if i create a crossing here yeah i thought so So let me move that. Now they can cross. And still those cars. Where are those cars coming from? I don't know. They still take them with them in their pockets, I suppose. Um, let's see where they park them. So there's a car parked over here. Uh, also something else that annoys me a little bit is like, you know, the time of day. You make it a little bit late. Like, you know, like 3 o'clock or something like that. Yeah, you know, it's more a nice, nice day to take a... A plunge. <laughs> but here it comes. These cars, they are parked on, on um, this stuff, which is not okay to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for my concrete brush. Brush. And let's see, a 2x2. Two two. That should suffice. Now the question is, can I monkey that over this? Let's see. Let's see. That poses no problem. Okay. Um, there from there to there, yeah. 
If I want to do this, uh, it will be a tedious process. Uh, give me a second, I will be uh, putting this, this in time lapse and be right back. so this looks pretty nice and um, the only thing that surprises me a little bit is like so many cars are being parked over here and nobody well only a few are parked over here hmm. oh I always press the escape button you know, for some reason <laughs> but um, where the, these cars are coming from I don't know because they are not allowed to be here um, So, I don't know if I have to also ban cars here, but then I wonder, I, w I just wonder what happens if I ban cars on these roads. This road, this road, yeah, it's already banned all the way around. Okay, if I take this path, like that, and I also move it slightly there, yeah. Can I put some little thingies over here, I don't know, some beachy related stuff. Palm trees would do nicely. Yeah, a few palm trees. So, pa palm uh, tree. Now, what is a nice tree to put here? Not like that. Um, let me have a look. This is actually a nice tree. Mm. It would nice be nice if you could put this on on a row like that. Okay. Fair enough, so let me plant one over there, that will help. We select the roads, we turn off collision, uh, this is not important, then we use the move it mod, we just, oh, come on, select you, and then we copy this tree, and by copying it we are allowed to place it everywhere, that's nice. The only difference is, can I even use this function? No, I cannot. Okay, that's a pity. So I have to place them manually here. Technically, I can also create sort of entrances, you know, using some boards or something. That would be nice. So I have like five trees, trees here. Now if I also place five over here, and then create a little bit of space in between. One, two, three, or four, and five. And then a little bit of space again, and then... One, two, three, four, five. And you get the idea. I mean, I can go on for for a while, and then put bollards. Bollards. Yep. Oh, so those are these things. Uh, which one? I don't know. Uh, what is this? Bollards with change. Let me have a look at those. Oh, okay, they, those are... Hmm, let me have a look. Oh, they would fit nicely in between, actually. Ah. Yeah. And can I even... Yeah, can I even just put them there? Oh, look at that car, you know? It was driving <laughs> straight through them. But this is just about the... Yeah, the visual aspect of it, you know? It's, it's like... You build a city, uh, and yeah, the Sims are doing stupid things and whatnot. But that, yeah, that happens. That happens often. But that's not the point. The point is like you want to see something visually looking nice. Um, and in City Skylines, it's not always about the functionality. You know, not about getting the industries top-notch running, getting the most money of it, but also, you know, to make something that looks pretty nice. So yeah, I can continue that if I wanted to. And, uh, yeah, we can, oh, we have a lot of people swimming here in, in the beach. Eye in the water. Look, they are swimming. Although, 
It's more like they are drowning. <laughs> look at <the laughs> look at look at this. I mean, can I? Don't, it's like ghosts. It's just like they are walking on the water. <laughs> it's like uh, this is like completely insane. And this is just insane. Let me see. Can I? Can I somehow? It's a nice screenshot, by the way. Yeah. But let me think about that logo that I always use for my, you know, for this. I need to create a little bit of distance like that. Okay, press F12. Why not? <laughs> No, well, I love it, you know, this area has been, um, yeah, built up quite nicely, actually. Nobody's complaining? I don't see any complaints. Sad. So, guys and girls, what do you think so far, uh, how this city is progressing? Um, next episode, I think we will take an in-depth look of the unique factories, how they are doing, uh, if there are any demands left, you know, if there's anything, you know, is there a shortage of plastics or metals or plain timber or, I don't know, crops or animal products, I don't know what. And, uh, yeah, and now we have, like, uh, this going on as well, and uh, I really like this. Also, I would love to build, you know, a big residential area over here i already took a little bit of a uh, you know an idea of this you know with this thing and also with this road here going to there to there as well <laughs> and uh yeah i will just uh, fiddle around a little bit with this maybe i can overlap some kind of decal that is making a parking lot but these cars are parked so randomly i think it will be a big mess I could put a fence or something like that, you know? Bah, yeah. Is it needed? I don't know. We will see it. Anyway, guys and girls, thank you for watching this episode number 44 of Valdez the Ring Road City. Where we play in despawn mode. And how is the traffic doing? I'm curious because I'm not always keeping track of that. Uh, traffic is at 86%. That's not bad. Uh, we have some busy spots here and there. Of course, I can't focus on that, but you know, in, in most general terms, traffic is going on. Yeah, 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 they, okay, yeah. yeah. There are a few spots where I could say, here, yeah, yeah. you see what these guys are doing? Okay, pause the game. Now look, this truck is now taking this lane, going there. If I use lane connectors, I can guide them toward this lane, and they can sh shift lane to there, and not here. They are, they, this truck would be hampering any traffic coming from here. So, well, I could also put a roundabout there, but maybe that would then be, yeah, problematic for this road. This is a one-way road. Oh, okay, going in. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I might fix this off-camera. But anyway, guys and girls, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon again in episode 45. Thank you for watching, and see you. Bye-bye.